I'm back. Road Rants on Star Wars. Yeah, a Star Wars video. How about that? I found I found something I found interesting. Obi Wan director explains how the show's production will be different than that of the Mandalorian, and of course, we're talking about Deborah Chow. She is going to be the showrunner, supposed to be the showrunner for the Obi Wan. Kenobi, what looks to be a limited series, event series, okay? In other words, it's going to differ from The Mandalorian continuing. Although, what I will say is, that's how The Mandalorian started. It was only supposed to be an event series. And now we know we're getting two seasons and a third season. Okay, so we'll see. Uh, but this article comes from Star Wars Direct. And I found it uh, pretty interesting. Um, word on the Obi-Wan Kenobi Disney Plus series has been nearly non-existent since it was announced that Joby Harold would be assuming some writing duties. The show, set eight years after the events of Revenge of the Sith, was delayed to a 2022 release, with Ewan McGregor tentatively set to deliver his performance early next year. Despite the delay, work has still been done. Director Deborah Chow has given her thoughts on the upcoming shoot. During the Hollywood Reporter's TV Director Roundtable interview, Director Deborah Chow commented on how she anticipates the Obi-Wan series being different than The Mandalorian, at least production. Quote, it's definitely going to be different, just in terms of the sheer workload, obviously, of doing the whole thing. She's directing every episode of it. Chow also made note of the absence of her fellow Mandalorian directors and the perks of doing this project alone. Quote, But in some ways I'm going to miss having a team, having people who are there to bounce ideas off of. But then obviously the flip side is, it is nice to have a coherent voice and know what you're doing from beginning to end. It says, goes on to say, what, what does this mean? Deborah Chow has emerged as a Star Wars superstar following the debut episode, uh, her first episode of The Mandalorian, Chapter 3, The Sin. The Sin is the one where Mando went back for Baby Yoda, and we had that really cool, what I refer to as the Dark Knight Batman scene where he actually goes in and he basically made, stalks and makes mincemeat of those stormtroopers as he's trying to get the baby Yoda uh, in that facility. And then, of course, that's also the same episode where um, John Favreau and the rest of the Mandalorians show up at the end when all the bounty hunters had uh, the Mandalorians surrounded. It goes on to say, one of the biggest criticisms of the re recent sequel trilogy was a lack of a unifying voice. Directors J.J. Abrams and Ryan Johnson played Hot Potato. The Mandalorian has been largely written by John Favreau, who serves as executive producer, and clearly has a full oversight for his vision. Working closely with a director for the series, Obi-Wan, by its nature, nature, is necessitated by a single voice to run production as it is a smaller, limited series. Okay. Uh, it says, while they're having di different directors are cool for a series, the Obi-Wan show will have a very disciplined focus, one that Chow can bring to the table. And uh, what I will say about her after watching the Mandalorian uh, documentary where they had the directors on there, she has got an extensive catalog of television episodes various good TV series that she has she has directed episodes for and of course she did uh, episode 3 of the Mandalorian she did episode 7 you could argue 7 might have been the best uh, episode of the entire season okay um, every episode had its uh, its positives right but um, some were just blatantly better than others. Like Bryce Dallas Howard, to me, had the weakest episode. Uh, right? 
um, and Taka's episode was very good, but he still had some strange humor at the beginning of it, even though it finished very well, that episode, the, the season finale. Um, so, Obi-Wan, the series that Kathleen Kennedy can't seem to tell the truth about. Yeah, I took another swipe at Kathleen Kennedy. That's fine. I'm going to do that in every video if I can. Um, if I if I have the opportunity to find a place to nail Kathleen Kennedy, I will. Uh, because, of course, all the scripts were supposed to be finished. She told everybody at Star Wars Celebration or D23 or wherever that was, Ewan McGregor came out last year and said, I'm coming back. Uh, also, Ewan McGregor recently said he would love to see this series be named hello there and he said something about the fact that this is going to have sort of a real prequel feel i don't know i know prequel fans would love that i really do uh prequel f fans have been sort of pushed to the wayside and this obi-wan series is going to hook them up i know for me i can't wait to see ewan mcgregor as as obi-wan again um, one of my favorite Star Wars characters now. Sure, I love the Alec Guinness version, but Ewan McGregor, I mean, so good. So good. Peace, I'm out. Till next time.